Hello out there Internet Horde, Zombie Phil here with a new series in 7 days. This is going to be my run and gun or RNG series. Um, as you can see here, starting fresh, I'm uh, going to start with the opening quests here. While I'm doing this, I will be displaying the uh, rules and everything that will be, uh, or sorry, the base game settings for the series. Um, it's basically going to be Horde every night. And, uh, yeah, whatever else goes. I have got the loot uh, turned up as well as the XP. Um, so hopefully that doesn't kill me too much. I'm going to plant my bedroll. And I actually forgot first up is actually the axe. The stone axe. Okay, we've got two major roads here. That's pretty good. Hopefully that means I'm pretty close to a... Uh, town or something. We do have a chicken here. wonder if I'm going to be fast enough to catch him. There we go. Uh, how short am I for that? One bone. There we go. Okay, journey to the trader, only 600 meters that direction. So let's get there and uh, get a quest on straight away. I'm going to need somewhere to bunker down for the first horde night. This is a modded series again, um, although I did actually forget to chuck on the Jewoodle UI. I'm going back to that one just because it is one of my favorite uh, UIs to use. Um, and the other one I was using doesn't look like it uses the uh, inventory lock slots yet, uh, which the base UI does. So three early repair kits, that's pretty nice. Uh, not equipped, that's not what I meant to do with that. I want to actually drag that down there and make a couple more of those just to clear up some inventory slots. Don't need that. Don't need that. Arrows. I'm just going to sit them down here so I can see how many I've got easily. Keep moving. Ah, oh, that's right. I should actually have my skill points. I'll quickly just spend those. I think I'm going to go Pummel Pete for the clubs this time. I don't normally play clubs, so I want to give them a bit of a try. Uh, I'm going to go Master Chef to get some early cooking books on. Minus 69 are for the extra tools magazines. And... I'm just going to go... Oh, no, that, that's it. Oh, these are running zombies, by the way. Um, so all... Zombies are runners in this uh, playthrough. I gotta remember to conserve my stamina. Have my arrow, did you? No, you did not. Right, we got a good size uh, town just here. Oop, another zombie. at least one of those arrows back. Thanks very much, buddy. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. I was not expecting a doggo to be right there. Sounds like there might have been a crawler in the uh, tent as well. Not Phil. This is the primitive bow you were using again. Okay, we got him down. I'll have all of those arrows back. Thank you.
Doesn't look like there was much in the tent. And we have, I think this is wrecked. No. It's Trader Bob. Hey, I like Trader Bob. Okay, gonna grab everything I can from around his compound here. Yep, you can bat whale on that all you want there, buddy. Hoping for a uh, nice gun or something in his compound. Maybe even he might have something to sell. Or I might even be able to throw together a pipe machine gun if I can find some ammo. Basically, I'll throw together whatever gun I can... Oop, pants upgrade already. Um, yeah, I'll throw together whatever gun I can craft um, that I find ammo for. That's the pipe shotgun, so be it. Oh, that's how you get actually into his uh, area, or how he gets in, I guess. There's not a searchable bus. Oh, that is a uh, searchable area, though. Toilet pistol. Oh. Definitely don't need radiators this early on. Anything you like? Uh, plenty I like, but um, more about what I'm going to stash in here for the moment. Uh, I can actually sell headlights. I uh, don't want to sell that, that, or that. Oh, that's as much as I can store in there for the moment. Um, probably don't want to store that. Let's get rid of the seeds. I don't need the electrical part for the moment. Um, a little hungry. And a little thirsty. Don't need the nitrate for the moment. Okay, gonna keep searching his compound. Oh, nope, that's a spot I can't really get to back there. Oh, got a day one wrench there. That's going to save me a lot of effort. Okay, they're just going to be gas. I uh, got some trash back here. Okay, any jobs? Something nice and close. One of the closest is the clear zombies. Sure. God speed. Sorry, I also want to see your inventory. Drop that. Okay, have you got any weapons? You have a T5 pipe machine gun that is well out of my uh, price range, as well as the uh, MAC-10. Uh, he does have some ammo, but I'm not really interested in that stuff just yet, so... Uh, looks like I'm going to be relying mostly on the bow for the uh, first Horde Knight here. Just going to drop all this stuff that he pretty much won't sell. Ah, uh, sorry, won't buy. Don't really need the sand for the moment. I thank you, kind sir. Okay, there we go. The quest is out this way. Not looking good. Come on. Hold still. Ah. Okay, let's get out here, away from his compound that just seems to be a zombie magnet at the moment. Ooh, I'll definitely take those. I might need them. 
Okay, no zombies close by. Let's get a wriggle on here. Okay, there we go. He's dealt with. Let's get past this little barn just here. Oh, yeah, I know this place. too far but I do want to backpedal at least to a fence that should give him a bit of pause. Right okay that's him dealt with. Let's get back in here. There's usually some bookshelves around here. on me. Alright, hopefully there's some clothes or armor in here. Okay, do I need food at the moment? No, I'm good. Uh, what about in here? More armor? Just armor parts. Uh, you know what I might do? Actually, I might save that for when I get upstairs, up into the roof area. I might build myself a quick little... Oh, actually, I can just get around to where the main stash is. Still haven't cleared the area though. There we go. Area is clear. Got the end stash here. Uh, I'm not going to be using that, so that's a bit of a waste. I'll read that. Take the. Oh, was that ammo? That was ammo. I've uh, changed the ammo icon, so I might be a little confused for a while here. Uh, interesting. And the Shotgun Messiah crate here, which is pretty nice. What do you got for me? A rifle, and what was that ammo? That is 7.62 ammo, so that's pretty good. Uh, let's get that down there. Craft me another one of those. Eat some food to get some health back. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this as a storage spot. Uh, I'll use that for wherever I set up my horde base. Probably I'm thinking the garage for this place would be a pretty good uh, spot. Since I'm going to be here, let's get down the purple... Uh, is that the purple one? I think that was the blue one. No, that's supposed to be purple. There we go. Where did my stone axe go? There it is. Okay, back over into here. 
to dump off the rest of some stuff here. Uh, I can always claim another one, uh, craft another land claim later, so I'll just drop that for now. I definitely don't want to be this low to the ground, I would prefer somewhere higher. Um, now, can I craft a... Pipe shotgun. I certainly can. I'll only have six rounds, but that's uh, not too shabby. I also got the duckbill mod, so hopefully I can get a bit of a wider shot on that. All of those things can go into there. Alright, like it dealt with. Looks like a bit of a porcupine. Let's get around here and have a look at the shed. Twenty more rounds for the uh, rifle. That's pretty decent. I really need the sand. Garage door up like so. But oh, there is a bag just there. I wonder if I can reach that. There we go. Armor parts. Pistol parts, not bad. Okay, let's get in and just quickly dump this stuff. Is that garden shed part of this POI? No, it's not. I may even look at living in that place next door, but that'll be a job for day two, I think. Okay, I need more frames. Say about another 20 or so, I think. Should do it. Didn't I have some clay soil here somewhere? I don't see it. I had clay soil, I thought. Uh, maybe I dropped it somewhere. Oh, I probably dropped it in the... Uh, in uh, Bob's uh, water cooler. Probably should have brought that with me. Don't need any of that stuff. Definitely not staying in this permanently because I really hate the air ducts. Um, yep, definitely need to get out and design some kind of uh, board base to deal with tonight. Hmm, the shed was what I was thinking about using. It is definitely tall enough. Um, but it is on a weird slope. I was hoping it would be a bit more flat. I could use that uh, you store it across the move. Uh, across the move. Across the way. The you move it across the way. God, I just can't speak today. Um, or I could just use my own... Actually, let's do that. I'm just going to build a little uh, base here, I think. It's only a day one, so it shouldn't need much. want to go up at least one more stair, I think. There was reasons why I built this right next to a tree. Okay, the good old favourite scaffolding bars is what I'm going to go with. Um, do I want them in that orientation? 
Which way does the club, club kind of swing? Uh, it kind of swings on an angle downwards. Let's go advanced rotation. Like so and like so. Now, I do want a block. Come on. There to stop them from jumping over. Just like that. Okay, I think I'm actually ready. Uh, a little bit ahead of what I was expecting. Um, I can chuck in some... No, advanced rotation. No, that was simple. Advanced rotation. Like so and so. And so, just in case they do get in, on top of me, which they shouldn't. Brawler is dead. And as long as I haven't stuffed up the settings, uh, this should be a Horde Knight any minute now. Um, I'm a little bit thirsty. Going to retrieve those two ladders there. Food and water. That's cement, so it'll only scrap down to stone if I needed it. Take that, and I'll take that just in case I doubt I'll need it, but who knows? Put the things away that I don't really need. And I can go and throw a torch on my horde base. Uh, let's chuck you... Can I get it? Yeah, there we go. That should hopefully provide just a little bit of light. I was thinking about strengthening this up from the side here somewhere, but I only have two frames. Do I have enough for a third? I do. Actually, do I have enough for a door? Wooden door is, what, ten? And of course I just spent some. Let's quickly just go and raid this tree here. As I said, it shouldn't be much of a Horde Knight, but let's get that crafted. Like so, that should support the bars, hopefully. Uh, let's go, if I can, a hatch. Can I make two? Can. Which side of you has the hinges? 
that side. So like that. Go on face, I think. Like so. There we go, that'll provide even more stability, even though these blocks aren't connected, they will kind of act like it. They won Horde Knight. And I'm freaking out. Knife Guy book and the Barrel Extender mod schematic. Now, I doubt we will see a cop this early, but I'm so totally dead if we do. Oh, what am I talking about? There's an extra, like, full hour before Horde Night. Ah, uh, yep, that's how much I'm freaking out. Um,. I can go and get some wood for uh, repairs. Okay, I just went and got some dirt so I can make some cobblestone. Always pays to upgrade at least a good few chunks of your base. So it doesn't just instantly collapse. Which isn't in the best spot. There we go, that's a little bit better. That'll make the night at least a little bit more seeable. And here we go, this should be the start of the Horde Night. Both my one-shot guns are loaded, my bow is loaded, my club is, I guess, loaded. Here they come. As I said, it's just day one Horde Night, it shouldn't be that uh, terrible. please. Oh, that didn't fully load. Oh, there we go. Two skill points. Oh, another decap. Whilst I'm here, now let's get one point into machine gunner and one into pain tolerance, just in case I do get hit. There is still somebody else out there wailing on uh, my new house. I guess it decided that it was faster to come through rather than around. So far holding up pretty well. There we go. Just a PG. Come on, lass. Oh, that was a good dodge. Get some stamina back. And just baseball hit her head clean off her shoulders. Right. 
day one horde successful. Adrenaline still pumping though, even though it's only three zombies, it's still like just, I don't know why, just horde knights seem to drive fear into you. Let me know if you're uh, exactly like that too. But that does sound like it's it. Um, I will spend the rest of the night just in the horde base here. Um, I guess the good thing about horde knights is that it will prevent uh, zombie spawns from the night. So um, if I do get lucky and clear out uh, enough zombies and there's nobody left, I can actually go riding around town and that uninhibited uh, or unhindered uh, by zombie spawns and just collect uh, the mailboxes. Anyway, that is it for this episode. I hope you're enjoying what you're seeing. If you are, hit a like on the video. If you want to come back and see more, remember to subscribe to my channel and come and get your zombie fill. I'll catch you in the next episode. Till then, bye.